Let's work on part C now. So according to the model, the average BMI of man with the age of 55 with 13 years of education is going to be 0 0.328 units lower than of man with age of 55 with 11 years of education. So let's substitute all this data. Uh, have to remember 55 years for both people, both persons. Uh, now we're having men in both cases. So the gender is going to take the same value. The dummy variable is going to be zero for both cases. And the years of education are 13 versus 11. So we're having this regression underneath. Let's substitute all the data that we just discussed. We said the dummy variable is going to be zero because we're dealing with men. The years of education is 13 versus 11 and the age is going to be 55 in both cases. Now, what can we notice? We're not going to have any difference in the results due to the age, due to the gender, because they're the same. The only difference in the results, let me change colors for that. The only difference in the results we're going to have from education. So that difference is going to be that the first person is going to have a BMI, which is lower by two units times 0 0.164 per unit. So two units, which means that this difference is going to be two times minus 0 0.164. So the first person with 13 years of education is going to have on average a BMI lower by 0 0.328 units. That's what we are seeing over here. That's what they give us in the conclusion. And this one is true. So yes, we can take that conclusion. In the next video, we're going to finish off the question with part D.